good day to everyone and I hope everyone is doing pretty good. The fact that we're having a, a stay home all the time for the past three weeks now and this is a kind of like a modified uh, quarantine. So what I did today is kind of like a discussing what we're doing at home for the past two and a half weeks now. So it's good that you know how we're doing and also it's good also to find out what are you doing. Uh, you can also uh, uh, click the link below or click the like uh, button and share and also subscribe. So in my Facebook uh, uh, page, you can uh, comment, you can share and then you can like it. And on my uh, YouTube uh, channel, you can uh, click like, subscribe and also comment. On my uh, Instagram, you can also uh, like, uh, share and at the same time comment. But anyway, whichever kind of social media uh, outfit or platform or kind of like resources that you're going to use, still the message will be the same. So again, thank you so much for watching at the same time liking and sharing my uh, video. So thank you and this is Romeo again and looking forward to hear more uh, of your comments and stay tuned for the next adventure that we're going to do. Actually, it's afternoon na dito sa Long Beach. So we're now on our third week of uh, corona. not Corona. It's like a homestay. So it's kind of like more of an enhanced uh, uh, quarantine. So I don't know for how long we're gonna wait here at home. But so far, a little bit boring now for the past two and a half weeks. So we're still counting, but I don't know for how long we're going to do this. But our school gonna be open, maybe, they say it might be on May 3rd. So that will be Sunday. So we might be coming back on the 4th of May. But we are not sure for 100% if that's gonna happen. But while we're waiting here at home, okay, our kids need to work on with their uh, home learning opportunity. The other term that they use for distant learning education or online. So instruction, homework, classwork, quizzes, or projects were all listed online. All they had to do is to go to a specific uh, site where they can get access. Uh, in our case, uh, we're just doing our work at home and uh, we have to uh, get access uh, online and we have to have a computer in order for us to continue our work. But I'm not so sure what the other people are doing, especially if they don't use a computer. Uh, and I don't know, that's gonna be a challenge. In our case, we don't uh, really find it uh, challenging because everything are now online. Same thing with Anate. Anate, she's doing her work uh, in the other room. I'm here in the living room. It's right there. That's my office, mini office right there. See? And our kids are doing their work on the kitchen. Uh, okay, on the table. Me, I spend most of my time here in the living room doing my stuff. Like this one. See? Right there. That's my home station. And so far, what I'm doing is most of my time just staying right here in the living room doing all the things. And something that's quite a little bit boring. <laughs> you know, because we're not used to myself is not used to staying at home even when I was a kid uh, I always uh, go outside uh, sometimes you feel like uh, you're a little bit uh, uh, claustrophobic because you, you see the same thing you see the four walls the furniture the same people you see and sometimes you have to go outside and we cannot do that because of the uh, coronavirus and we don't know who are those people who are carrying it but, you know, from time to time, I just go outside, go to our uh, garden, go to our garage, do the workout. And sometimes just go outside in front of our uh, house and then catch some fresh air. So other than that, nothing's new. So I don't know for how long we're going to stay home. But according to our uh, directives from our work, we're going back on May 3rd. That is the last uh, day of our uh, lockdown. And looking forward to cut short that, that period and that way we'll be able to do our uh, regular routine even my sleeping uh, pattern has uh, changed and I don't know I don't know you people you feel like a little bit kind of like uh, uh, down sometimes or a little bit weaker I don't know that's how I feel but I'm still healthy though I can still eat healthy food I can do my uh, routine I can work out 
but it feels like uh, something missing. So probably, you know, interacting with people, with your co-workers, aside from your loved ones. But anyway, I just want to uh, say hello to everyone. Uh, stay safe and always uh, uh, have a mindset of uh, your health. Not only yourself, but also the other people around you. And if you're going out to get something, make sure you have your mask on and your gloves. And then after you finish uh, using your gloves, make sure you put it in a Ziploc and then throw it in the trash can so that nobody can touch it. Um, and you can uh, prevent the uh, spread of uh, the virus. And the other thing that I've noticed, I think I went outside yesterday uh, to get something, uh, you know, to eat. I bought the uh, banana and sweet uh, uh, potato and Tagalog is in uh, Camote. So I've noticed that a lot of uh, Filipinos are not wearing masks. There are a few who are wearing masks and uh, gloves. So I feel bad because even though you thought or you think that you're not carrying that virus, but you know, the, uh, the percentage that you're going to catch the virus is uh, most likely you're going to get it. You know, it's greater or higher the risk. So please, those people who are out there, you know, doing their thing, make sure you cover yourself or wear a mask, wear gloves and protect yourself and also people. In doing that, you're not only protecting yourself, but also you're protecting other people. So again, I just want to say uh, uh, thank you for our uh, frontliners, the nurses, the healthcare workers, the doctors, and also the military, the police officer, all the law enforcement out there who's kind of like implementing the, uh, the uh, in-house or uh, the lockdown uh, so that uh, we can prevent this uh, virus. So thank you so much for making it sure that there are no people out there doing uh, unnecessary thing. So I hope this uh, coronavirus 19 uh, pandemic will be ended soon so that we can go back to our uh, regular routine. And I really miss my, my work, my students, and also my co-workers. And uh, I'm sure my, uh, my uh, wife also misses her uh, co-workers, her bosses. And the same thing with our kids. They misses their friends, their classmates, their teachers as well. So, what else can I say other than uh, Happy Wednesday? And today is the first day of April. So, I hope uh, everyone will do their best they can to uh, stay healthy and stay home and be safe. And always pray. Okay? Prayers is a good uh, thing or good uh, behavior that they can do during this uh, time. So again, I'm uh, saying uh, have a nice day, a pleasant afternoon to everyone, and I'm looking forward that, uh, and also praying that this uh, virus will be ended. Again, thank you so much for watching.